The Tour de France was starting tomorrow, or maybe in a few days. With these legs, would you be confident? Yeah, I would have confidence in myself, but, but I do still think that I can get a little bit better. Wow. You just put into words everything that you take away from this week of the Dauphiné. Yeah, I'm just proud, really, to be honest. Um, I'm really happy with the boys and the confidence, uh, confidence, the, com the confidence from the team. Um, they backed me since uh, since I'm like up and down kind of period at the start of the year. But yeah, I think in the race you can take away that a lot of us are in quite similar form and really not far apart on our levels, except Jonas. So it's kind of cool where you, it's not so much that you know who you're fighting for, but you definitely. You're definitely aware of um, how you're going to approach the race, especially the Tour de France, because, yeah, if Jonas is racing like this, good luck. We rode, we rode a really nice race. Uh, Mecca won the TT um, in second on GC, so uh, we tried our best. Wasn't the top step, but uh, I think we can take a lot of confidence from, from this week. And tomorrow, Sestria with Tade and the rest of the Tour team, and some recons as well of the Tour route. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what we're doing, but uh, yeah, we'll go up there now and uh, my first and four or five days off. <laughs> right, the Dauphiné is over. The rune reading for the Tour de France begins, as if we haven't been doing it all week. And David, Vinegar rode pretty much an impeccable race. Uh, if you did want to peck, I suppose you might say his team this year could be slightly less stellar than last year's. Yeah, I mean, I think so. The, the bar is obviously set very high by Jumbo Visma. But they did the job. And as he said in his post-race interview today, he was never alone today on the stage. Tish Benoit was off the front. That was a good tactic. He was there when he needed him on the descent into the final climb. And other than that, I'd say the only thing to pick would be the time trial. But that seems to be more a strategy error rather than a sign of form. But he had, as he said, an impeccable race. And UAE obviously here without their team leader. But as a team, they look pretty strong. Adam Yates particularly. They look amazing. I mean, they've looked uh, amazing at the Giro d'Italia as well with a different team. They have a strength and depth they've never had before. And the performances are stellar. I'm sure Tadej Pogacar is watching that and seeing Adam Yates. And it, this isn't just about Adam Yates' performance. It's about what bodes well for Adam Yates delivering for Tadej Pogacar at the Tour de France. Mm. And Ineos won the team prize here, but 9th, 12th and 23rd for their GC riders suggests that they'll be paying close attention to Tom Pidcock's form at the Tour de Suisse this week. Yeah, I mean, I think it's an interesting one for Ineos Grenadiers because they're in a position they've never really been in where they don't have a leader for the GC at the Tour de France, not in the slightest. But I think it's perhaps hidden a bit. Often a team will win the classification when they don't have a leader because they don't have teammates sacrificing themselves for that leader. So they always had riders, three riders grouped at the finish, but they didn't have that one that stood out. Pidcock, I think it's a great opportunity for him. He's going to go to the Tour de France and he's got the team at his disposal. So it could be a really exciting race all the same. Well, Jack, we haven't seen general classification yeah, but we think, as we discussed this morning, history is made. I think that's probably fifth for the third time in a row. Um, how satisfied are you? I'll be back next year for another fifth. So, yeah, it's good. I'll keep the streak going and um, hopefully I'll hold the record for a very long time. Well, it's a fantastic week. Just put into context for us, put into words what this week has given you and, um, well, what you take from it. Yeah, you know, obviously first it was, uh, you know, it's been a really tough week of racing, so, you know, I got that in the legs and, uh, you know, I think on top of that, you know, the experience, you know, I think it's uh, each race, you know, you learn new things and, uh, you know, gain some experience, confidence to take into the next races, so, uh, no, it's been a really good week of learning and racing and, uh, you know, obviously it's always nice to, to get stuck in at the point at the end and, uh, you know, we, we did, uh, we made a real good go of it, so, yeah, I think we can be happy. Jack, traditionally on the last day of the Dauphiné, I think we asked you for a prediction for the Tour de France. Having seen Jonas Vingegaard at close quarters, do you feel like giving us a predict prediction for the Tour? I really hope Pogacar's good. Um, <laughs> because Jonas looks uh, incredibly good and I kind of hope that it's, uh, Pogacar arrives to the Tour and there's a bit more excitement because no one really knows how he's gone because he hasn't raced too much. I think he's doing national championships only. Um, but yeah, I hope there's a good battle there for first and second, but I imagine there'll be a lot of people battling for third to fifth.